Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and I have a fun treat for you guys today. Um, today, we are playing a demo of a game that is not even out yet called Balatro. Now, um, as many of you know, I have a passion for retro and indie games, but most of the time we're playing retro games on this channel. Um, this is an indie game that uh, I just read about randomly. And it sounded pretty cool. It's a deck building game. It's a poker deck building game where you get to violate the rules of poker like crazy. Um, it's actually really, really cool. I want to show you. Hopefully we'll get a few good runs because it is a deck building game. There's a lot of randomness to it. I played it a lot over the last few days and have been really impressed by it. Um, it has this interesting sort of like CRT effect, which I actually toned down a little. Um, uh, where did I do it? Yeah, the, oh no, actually, the, it isn't toned down. Okay, I'll leave it, whatever. Um, the style of this game is really cool. The concept is, if you're interested in this game, you know, as an, I guess I'm an indie developer, it's weird to say, but as an indie dev guy myself, I would urge you to check out their Steam store. They're not sponsoring me. I didn't get any email from them or anything. I found this totally on my own, but I think it comes out February 20th. It is worth a look but let me convince you with some fun, cool gameplay. So let's just give this demo a shot. Now, when you first start the game, you'll be limited to the blue deck, um, which is a decent starting deck, but I've unlocked two other decks. I'm not crazy about this one. The double tag, I feel like I don't use correctly, but anyway, we're gonna start with the magic deck. It comes with two extra uh, cards, as you'll see. So you have poker cards, you have tarot cards, and you have joker cards. There's also planet cards. So there's, there's lots of interesting cards. You may be thinking, how the heck does this work in poker? I'm gonna show you guys. And I'm give, gonna give you some tips along the way too, because I have beaten this several times. Um, basically, you end up specializing in a hand type. So I've beaten it with a flush draw. I've beaten it with a straight flush draw. I've beaten it with a two pair draw. Um, but you guys will understand that uh, as we get going. So the way this game works is it's set up into a series of rounds, which I guess are called antis. And each ante has a small blind, a big blind, and then the hook. And so be basically these are sort of like opponents you have to beat, although there's not really an opponent, it's just an inanimate object. Um, so in order to beat the small blind, I have to score at least 300. You can also skip whenever you want, and if you skip, you don't get a chance to earn money. You don't get a chance to shop. So you earn money from every, uh, you know, like hand that you beat. Uh, you earn the ability to shop afterwards. But if you skip it, you can sometimes get uh, bonuses. So for instance, if I skip the small blind here, I will get free rerolls in the next shop, uh, or at least really cheap rerolls. Um, early on, you definitely want to try and get some Joker cards because they really help your score. So I'm, unless this was a really good reroll, usually you don't want to on the first hand because the first one's a gimme. So we're going to go ahead and play the small blind. So here's how it works. I've been dealt a series of cards. I have to play these cards and try and make a poker hand. And if you look at the run info, you will see that if you do a high card, you will get five times one as your points. If you play a pair, it's 10 times two, two pairs, 20 times two, and so on. The fun thing about this game is you can upgrade hands. So for instance, two pair right now is only worth 20 times two. It's worth 40 base points, which isn't a lot. But if you play cards to upgrade your two pair, you can get this to like 100 times eight, and it can be worth more than like a straight flush. It's really kind of fun. So it's like right now, obviously a full house or flush or straight or the value uh, values you want to go for. But later on, you know, you could specialize in two pair and have two pair be worth more than a straight flush. It just depends how you build your deck. Also, your deck starts as a normal deck of 52 cards. Eventually, we will delete some of these cards. We'll add in extra cards. We'll add in cards that have abilities. So there's all sorts of fun stuff you can do with your deck. Now, in the first small blind, what you basically want to do is get a flush or a high straight so that you can beat 300 points in one go. So again, as you saw here, you know, like... I don't even have a hand, so we're not, there's nothing I can do with this. I'll, I'll show you how you discard and get better hands. But you don't want to play a bunch of two pair or three of a kind and then eventually get to 300 because every hand you play, it's less money you'll win later. So you want to win the first couple hands in one or two goes. Um, so for instance here, you know, I'm kind of close to a flush 
with these cards here. I have three spades. I guess I'm kind of close to a straight. Honestly, I don't have luck with straights. I find flushes are a lot easier to hit in this game. Um, and even though I have three, four, I'm missing a five. So, I mean, that's not great. I'd be drawing for one five. I'm going to go for the flush. So I'm going to throw away these face cards. And what you can do is you can discard and you'll re so you can discard up to five cards and redraw that many. You only have three discards total and I can play up to four different hands to try and get 300. Again, you want to try and get 300 in one go here. So here, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In fact, I could go with a jack. So I could do a jack high straight here. And you may say, oh, that's the way to go, right? So I would get 30 times four. I'd only get 120 points. And each card will also add to the chips. So I'd get 10, 20, 29, uh, 36, oh God, math, 43. So this would actually be 73 times four, which is, I think that's actually enough. 70 times four is 280. And then three times four is 12. No, it's 292. So actually this wouldn't get to 300 in one hand. And I could go with it if I'm feeling like a chicken, but I want to go for the big, the big dog here. So another thing I could do, eight, nine, 10 jack. So in theory, if I get a queen, that would make the straight high enough. There's only three in the deck, so I'd be drawing for a lot. Um, I think I am still going to stick to this flush strategy and we'll see how it works. Now that I'm on camera, obviously the stakes are much higher. Um, here we have three of a kind and two of a kind, so I could make a full house. That would get me 160 plus 21 and 21 and 18 is 31, 39. So this would be 79 times four. I think that might be enough. Okay, I, you know what? I could do the math in my head, but I'm not gonna wait, make you wait. I'm just gonna go for it. I think that full house is enough. Let's see if I did my math correctly. If not, I mean, one other hand is not that big of a deal. Oh, 292 again. I screwed the pooch. Okay, but now, I mean, I could basically play almost anything and I think I have it. In fact, I could just play a high card. Um, actually, no, I couldn't. Uh, I have to play something of substance. All right, let's see. Okay, so I could do a straight now. Uh, now the funny thing is this straight probably will get 300 by itself. Um, and so if I had just discarded for this straight, I could have, yeah, when it's on fire, it means you have enough points that you single-handedly cleared the blind. Now it doesn't matter that I got 600. I only needed to get 300, so I actually wasted one hand. And so you could see I got two extra dollars for two remaining hands. If I had done it in one hand, I would've got $3. So I missed out on $1. Now it's not that big a deal to miss out on a dollar here or there, but you definitely don't wanna make a habit of it. So my advice is try and get that flush or a high straight, to clear the first blind in one go. Um, okay, so by the way, here are the tarot cards that I have. These are special abilities. Basically, these two will copy any other tarot card that I play, and right now I haven't played a tarot card, so they don't do anything yet. Um, this enhances one selected card in my deck to a glass clock card. I don't want to do this. This enhances... So here, planet cards enhance uh, card, like uh, sets you can make. So this would say, full houses get plus two multiplier and plus 20 base chips. So my full house right now is... 40 times four, so this would become 60 times six. So it would make this more valuable. Full houses would be worth more than four of a kind if I did this. Full houses are a pain to get, so I'm not gonna go for it. I've had the most luck with uh, flushes um, and two, two pair. So I don't know how you're supposed to make, by the way, you could in theory try and make the high card matter, but I don't know how you make that actually viable. So there's all sorts of different decks you can try and build and, and directions you can go um i think i'm gonna go for a joker early on i could add so you can get packs i could add one of five cards to my deck i'm gonna go with a joker i think uh because jokers as you'll see give you multipliers and you need multipliers to win long term okay so here plus one multiplier per tarot card use this is actually really good because we have two tarot cards right here 
and this is plus four multiplier. I think this one, so any joker you can get that snowballs, or you can find some jokers that give you multipliers, like 1.5, two times, three times, those are way overpowered, but anything that accumulates and gets stronger over time is good. Now, I could just buy this tarot card to use it, but I'm gonna save my five bucks. As you'll see, for every five dollars you have in the bank, you earn one dollar interest at the end of every match. Um, so here, skip this hand, or skip this fight to get plus three hand size next round. That doesn't really matter, it's a temporary buff. So instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and fight the big blind. So now I need 450. So the odds of doing this one in one hand are very low unless you got a good joker or something. So this one by default is probably gonna be a two-hander. So I'm gonna try and go for the flush. Again, I find flushes are a really good bet in this game. Um, straight flushes are crazy if you can ever get those to work. But I'm even, not even gonna bother to make the straight here even though I could, because I'm, well, should I? That's a good question. Maybe it's worth it. And I'm throwing away my flush ability. Eh, my strategy is to go for the flushes, so we'll give it a shot. Okay, four, five, six, seven. Oh man, we're one away from a straight flush. Um, the queen high flush is better for us, actually. And you also kind of want to think about what cards you'll have after this. All four, five, six. I'll kind of have half of a straight, so who knows? I could get lucky and be able to play a straight next but if you have a really high flush you can see each card adds further chips as i said before if you have a really high flush you can sometimes just like win right away um but that didn't work out for me um okay so i only have one more discard um let's see what can i try and do with this I could try and make a another full house i would need a four or a six and there's only one four in the deck and one six, so the odds of that are low. Um, so what can I try and do here? How can I salvage this? I have three clubs. I could try another flush. Well, the odds of that are low, too. Yeah. Ugh. This, this is not a great spot. I'm going to go for that second flush, I think. I'm probably going to regret it. I'll get a four or six, and I could have made a... A full house. I could go for a flush of a different suit. And there are a lot of spades in the deck. Maybe that's the play, oddly enough. It seems stupid, but... Uh, hold on, could I hold... I could hold these two in case I make a, f a full house. But then I could hold this one extra card in case I start to see some spades. Uh, th I feel like this is not a great strategy, so I don't know how much you want to listen to my advice, but... Oh, we made the full house! It all worked out. I'm a genius. Do listen and follow everything I say. This should be enough. Hopefully. Uh, oh, it is. I was gonna say, oh, 450. I did my math wrong. I was over 100. Okay, so we got it. The, yeah, the second blind go doing it in two hands is pretty normal. Um, okay, so here's another Joker, a misprint. This one's kind of funny. It has a random multiplier. Uh, the banana, I've actually had some good luck with. One in eight chance it's destroyed, but it gives you a 15 multiplier. That's pretty good. Um, and then we can also think about adding cards. Celestial pack. So planet cards are the ones where you can start to change what different sets are worth. I don't know what kind of deck I am so far, so I think I'll just take the Joker. Um, so once I start to get some tarot cards that affect stuff, then I can decide, you know, again, I've had luck with two pair. There's one joker that every time you play two pair, it's worth the multiplier goes up. So that ends up being crazy. And then there's, uh, you know, flushes. If you pump up flushes, they can just be very valuable. I mean, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should get a celestial pack. I'd be throwing away one interest. So this basically costs five. And I only have a choice of three. Um, I am going to... Eh, let's... I'm doing it for the camera. Let's see what we got here. All right, one pair. I can make one pair very valuable. High card. You know, I did try and make high card valuable. I've tried all sorts of different things just to see. 
but I don't think it's possible. So this is just the demo. The full game comes out again in February. With the current Jokers, I don't think it's possible to make the high card valuable. Because one other thing about this is if you play a high card, then you only need to play one card. You can play a one card hand. You can play four other cards if you just want to discard them, but you don't have to. But none of those other cards count for anything. So it's not like you could play ace, queen, nine, four, three, and get point, get extra chip points for the ace, the queen, the nine, the four, the three. The, the queen, the nine, the four, and the three are just thrown away. So it's only the ace. So the reason high card kind of sucks is you're only getting bonus chips from a single card at a time. And with the current jokers, that is just not viable. So... Um, shit, these all kind of suck. Because straight flush is too hard to get. Um, what you, you can later mutate a bunch of these cards into the same, um, suit. So I could turn all my hearts into clubs and stuff, and it start to warp everything into clubs. And I've had decks where it's like 90% clubs. Straights are still, or sorry, flushes are easy in that case, but straights I still find very hard. Um, there's one special card you can find to make straights easier, but without it, it's not really usable. I guess I will pump up the single pair. And so my options are so these now can turn into the single pair card and I could make single pairs you know, four, five they could have a five multiplier and like 60 points. So they'd be up at a four of a kind value. I just don't know if I want to do that yet. I'm going to try and hold out for the next store to see if I can. Um, okay. So in theory now, a single pair is worth about the same as three of a kind. Flushes are still better though. But they're nice to have as like a reserve in case I get screwed. The question is, what do I want to do here with these cards? I'm gonna throw so if you can discard five, it's good to discard five. I don't know what I'm digging for, honestly, but let's just see what I get. Okay, so I could do three of a kind queens. Uh, which is three times. So I mean it's better than a pair. Or I can dig one more time. I don't want to burn all my discards yet. Again, I don't know what I'm playing. So okay, I could play three of a kind and that's it. But here's a trick. If you want, you can throw in a few extra cards to discard them. However, since I have four spades, I might keep those extra cards. Hopefully drawing one more spade. Oh no wait, I can make a flush right now. What am I talking about? That's the play. The flush is four times thirty-five, so it's better than three of a kind. All right, I'll I'll play the uh, play the king high flush. Oh, and two cards got thrown away there because I'm fighting the boss hook and it's discarding two of my cards randomly after every uh, thing. Okay, that Joker multiplier just put me on fire, and in a one hand I took down the big blind. So you can see how important Jokers are. It, it like literally made the the hand so one tip is try and get at least one good joker early um this one is kind of interesting 0.25 multiplier uh per hand played without playing your most played poker hand so this is sort of a diversity joker it's like you want to play different cards not terrible you can only hold five jokers at a time by the way Plus two chips for every dollar you have. Uh, so this will give me 24 chips. Here's a sneak peek when the full version comes out. Um, okay. I still don't know what kind of deck I am. I'm going to open a tarot card booster. Because that will boost my joker. And we'll see what we get. So this is a one in five chance to add a crazy effect to one of the jokers. I did this once and got lucky and got the polychrome, the 1.5 multiplier. If you can get anything that's a multiplier, 1.5, 1.75, 1.25, it is actually crazy good because um, multipliers will end up going up exponentially. You have two or three of them and then it's crazy. So, uh, But it's only a one in five chance. So I don't know if I want that. And plus, I don't know if I'll keep either of these jokers. This one probably, this one I'm not sure. Increase the rank of two cards by one, so you could select two of these cards and the threes would become fours, or this would become jack and nine if I did that. Uh, I've never really found this to be all that useful. Create a random joker. I guess I'll do this one. Okay, this one is uh, 
two times multiplier for the first face card that you use, which is not too terrible. Um, I guess I'll do this too. I wouldn't mind trying to pump up two pair again. Straight flush, flush. All right, we have a decision to make. Are we a flush deck or are we a two pair deck? Two pair does really good with the Joker pants, which we don't have. And flush will do really good if we can mutate our deck into all one suit. I'm gonna try a flush deck. I think two pair, ultimately you can get crazy, uh, but I think we're gonna go with flush. And now at any any point I can use this to upgrade flush again, or what I am looking for is a tarot card that lets me turn my cards into a certain suit. Okay, this lets me reroll the boss. The boss is cards drawn face down after each hand. That's not that big a deal because you can usually discard and stuff, so I'll keep those. All right, so we'll fight this blind. Also, my money is very low. It is nice if you can accumulate money and become wealthy. Okay, I'm gonna discard these because I'm digging for some hearts, baby. And I'll keep doing it. If I can get like one good heart flush, it'd probably wipe out the boss. Six times 55, so that's like uh, plus 10, 20, almost 30, 40. So 95 times six. Yeah, plus my jokers, it'll be fine. Do it. One hand win, let's do it. Oh yeah, and that went times two, yeah. The jokers, man, if you, it's very important to get good jokers that will build up. Like I got 1400 there on one flush. Didn't even have to use these yet. I'm just hoarding these. <laughs> I'm waiting for a direction to be revealed. I think we're a flush deck, but it's not too late to change. So 120 chips if it's a straight. This one's kind of cool. You can discard one card and earn five bucks. That might actually be worth, worth it because you can start to get money crazy fast. Okay, let's... Oh shoot, I can't do both. Mmm. This would allow me to hone my deck into one suit, because I could destroy different suits selectively, but it'd be very slow. Alright, let's see what we got here. I can always sell something if I want that Joker. Hands one card to Wild, which makes it any suit. Creates a random Joker. Uh, enhances two cards into bonus cards. Three cards into spades. Alright, we're, go we're gonna be a spades deck. And I'll show you how this works. So I'll enhance these into spades. And now these cards both tur can turn into, turn these into spades. And as we use them, this multiplier will go up. So we'll use this. And then we have to wait till we have a hand before we can use this. Now the only thing that sucks is I kind of wanted this card, but I guess it's not in the cards. I could sell this Joker. And take this. So the question is, this will earn me more money. Okay, I'm gonna, because even if I have to spend like two or three hands, I'm still making five. Yeah, okay. This Joker is just more valuable. All right, the economics of being a poker junkie adds one voucher to the next shop. Vouchers are things that like add more spots to the shop, add more like hands, things like that. Um, we're just gonna fight the blind. Okay, so we want to turn things into spades. So these are worth turning into spades. Use them. It's good to turn some, so it's like you may think, oh, hold out for the aces and the queens and the kings. There are cards you find later that make the eights and the fives and stuff more valuable. So it's good to have a mix of things. Um, I'm gonna do one discard to destroy that heart. And now, I think I will hold off. I'm just going to do another discard here. I'll keep the ace because I kind of want to mutate it. Um, oh, and I should turn this into the turns things into spades. 
And here we go. Ace, Ace, Jack. That's a good set to turn into spades. All right, so now if you look at our deck, you know, our deck is starting to warp into spades. We can destroy a card every turn and earn five bucks for doing it. We're going to try and get more tarot cards so this Joker gets more valuable, but check this out. This thing is going to double our multiplier, and it's going to come into effect over here, so it's, like, going to be crazy good. So here we go. I think this one flush should win us the hand. Ten, 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 ten. Doubled. Boom, baby. 1890. Good score and a good year. All right, yeah. So now we're going to start getting the cash. This Joker's going to make us rich. Um, here's here's some fun jokers. There's some jokers that give you like uh, plus four when um, a particular uh, suit is played. Now, unfortunately, we're going spades, not clubs, so we don't want this joker, but it could be very good. Um, so we have two celestial packs. This one gives you five to choose one. This one gives you three. I'm going to go with this one because I really want to try and hit the flush one. This one, there's a chance I'll hit nothing useful, so... I'd rather spend the extra two bucks personally and try and get... We didn't get it. So what of these is useful? Nothing really. Run info. So full houses are hard to come by. Four of a kind or not. Like you can get car... You can start to insert more aces and stuff in your deck eventually. Um, and then four of a kinds and full houses become easier. I guess two pair as a backup. I'll pump up two pair if it's my only option because there is the Joker pants card, which is good, but I think we're getting a little late in the game to veer over to that. Okay, I'll hold on to my uh, money for now. Okay, so cards drawn face down after each hand is played. All we gotta do is win in one hand. How hard could it be, right? Oh wait, and we should discard one. So we'll burn away a low club. See ya. And now let's discard all these. I think if we get one spade, we've won. Yeah, cause like, this is a crazy good hand. We'll get 1800 again, I think. Yeah, there we go. Once it goes on fire, you know you're good. So 1800, 1900 is about what we're getting with like a good flush hand. We need our, we need to pump our jokers up if we want to go higher than that. But yeah, the so far the highest I ever got was when I was playing my two pair deck. I got to the point where two pairs would give me something crazy like 250,000. It was insane. It was truly insane. Uh, this is a great joker times two multiplier. It loses power over time, but it's a great one. Then we can get some Celestials. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. This will just make life so much easier. Um, raise the interest cap to 10. This is actually ultimately very good. We can't take advantage of it yet, so I won't buy it. And I'm gonna dig for that. Uh, I think it's Jupiter. Yeah, flush. So now the flush is getting really valuable. Eight times and 75 base coins or chips. So like the flush is almost as good as a straight flush. And if I get one more planet, it'll be better. So um, it, it, like we're no longer incentivized to do a straight flush. In fact, if we could, it's better to do a normal flush. Um, I'll save my money for the interest. So, here, so if we skip this blind, we get two joker or we get the choice of one of two jokers. So sometimes it is worth skipping. Right now, nothing could incentivize me to skip really. Some of these are like double money or something. In that case, I might do it, but I'd rather do the fight because what I'm trying to do is do the one discard to, um, yeah, see, I just hurt this card a bit. But I'm trying to do the one discard to whittle my deck down to just spades and get money in the process. Two, three, four. I want to get a slightly higher flush. Maybe that was a bad idea. I think with this multiplier, we don't even need a flush that's all that good. 
Okay, maybe I should be more careful with my uh, discards. I mean, this card will hang around for quite a while. It will eventually lose power. But yeah, we're making 5,000 on a mediocre flush now, so we're probably in pretty good shape for a little bit. Um, so yeah, we're on like round three of six, really. Um, and that will end the demo, so we don't have an infinite amount of time here. Um, choose two of five tarot cards. See, that's good because it'll pump this guy up. So I think that's what we'll do. We're not ready for this yet, but we should buy it before the round ends, probably. Um, okay, so this would enhance a card that while it's in my hand, it gives me a multiplier. That's not bad. We're going to convert cards to spades, though. I can't believe we got that. Select the left two cards, convert the left to the right. Or enhance one to a glass card. Multiplier times two, but one for a chance of being destroyed. We're going to turn three cards into spades, baby. Okay. There is a tarot card you can get that, like, doubles your money, which is good. Um, I guess what we'll do is maybe roll the dice on one of these jokers. This one isn't bad, but it's, like, it's hard to depend on. It doesn't impact the game too much. This would be a game changer. Nope. Nope. But we still get the points for that, so that's all that matters. Should we buy this now? I don't think we need to yet. Um, yeah, we have so few diamonds and clubs and stuff. All right, we'll just keep going. Shop has an uncommon joker. That's not... That, that's kind of tempting, but I think our jokers are okay for now, so... Um, okay, so let's discard this. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's sufficient. We'll just win on that. Rather than dis so I'm gonna try and like limit my discard so that this card stays useful. Oh, we didn't win in one go. So we just lost one dollar there, I guess. And now we do we are in a bit of a pickle. Like I don't even think this will end up being enough, because that would be six. 12 plus 8, 20 times... 20 times 40. Yeah, I think we have to dig for a flush. 3, 4, 5. But it hurts this one a bit. But again, it goes down so slow, it's not that big a deal. Crap, we still don't have a flush. Alright, we gotta dig. I mean, we'll get one this time. It's almost... It's almost a mathematical impossibility that we don't hit one eventually, but... Yeah, so you can see this is down to 1.85. It's still very powerful. I'd say once you start getting into, like, the 1.32 range, maybe you want to replace it, but... The multiplicative jokers, again, are crazy good. You want that multiplier, not the adder. Additions are nice, and a lot of them have it, but it's the multiplier that really makes a huge difference. Uh, this one is kind of, this is a really cool card if you're going for straights. It allows you to make a straight with a gap of one. So you can go two, three, five, seven, eight. But you can have multiple gaps of one. So you could go two, four, six, seven, eight. You know, like that's really cool. There's another joker that allows you to make straights and flushes with, with four cards instead of five. This and that are crazy. And you just make straight flushes all over the place. And that is a crazy deck. Um, this one gives us a tarot card or a planet card if we play an ace or straight, which we are not good at doing consistently, so it's not worth it. Um, ooh, spectral cards are good. Okay, I'm gonna buy this voucher, because this will be useful to us as we make more money, hopefully. Um, there's a joker you can get where as long as you have less than four dollars, every time you play a hand, you get a tarot card, and that combined with this is a crazy combo as well. Um, let's try the spectral card, because they can be really good too. Create a random a copy of a joker and destroy all others. Um, I don't think we want to do that. That can be good if you have one really good joker and just like one or two others you don't care about. You can also, by the way, just sell your jokers, get it down to one, and then you can use this, which is probably a better way to use it. 
Um, creates a rare joker and sets money to zero. Ooh. Add uh, an effect to a card. Add polychrome to a joker and destroys all others. Damn. Polychrome is a multiplier. That is very good. Again, we have too many good jokers that we depend on, so I'm not going to do that. So I guess we'll just add polychrome to one card. So we'll do this card. Make that ace. It just has plus 30 chips now, so that wasn't all that great. It kind of sucked, honestly. Lose $1 per card played. Ouch. This is a boss you hate to see. Maybe I should have done the set my money to zero thing. Although you can go negative. So you can't really escape it. Discard. Get my five bones. Two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see if this... Oh, shit. We need a face card. Because we want that times two multiplier. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to do this. I think we can get this guy in one go. Because this would be plus 30. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work. I got my fingers crossed. We will see. Oh, we did it. <laughs> wow, that was close. If I had to play another hand and I didn't have a flush ready to go, I would have been 10 in the hole. That would have really sucked. So we kind of neutralized that boss's ability there. Starting to get money. That's good. So 25... Or 50 is what we want in the bank to get a plus 10 every time. And when we're doing that, then then we're going to hit the ground running. The bull would be good in that case. Maybe the bull is good. I'm going to buy the bull and another tarot card to try and make this work. Stone. So th this is good if you're doing two pair because you have one card that has plus 50 chips. So I would say one thing to keep in mind is don't get too caught up on the multiplier because it's this number times this number. So whether you're adding chips or a multiplier, it's the same. So this is like adding plus 50. You know, if this card was plus 50, that's the same as, as turning one of your cards. So it's, it's really good is what I'm saying. Um, oh my God, three cards to spades again? I mean, that is just safety right there. I'm not a fan of that card. It's a total sell card of all jokers. So I could get 12 bucks for three into spades. Hmm. It's actually an interesting choice. So do I want those to be spades or do I want the 12 bucks? I think I want them to be spades. So this card is good because it's like give, currently giving me plus 30 chips. So it's like a 30 times joker. This one's only nine, right? So it's like, this guy is way better than this guy, actually. In fact, I might eventually drop this guy, even though he's pretty good. Initial card and booster packs and next shop are free. Ugh. That is also tempting. But I think I'll make more money this way. By actually fighting. I'm going to throw away a club. And... Oh, I can make a... Flush. Okay, let's see. So this is a very middling to low flush. Although it has this card. But I think this is going to make a huge difference. Oh, you know what? It didn't, didn't get me to 8,000. But this certainly will. So there's no point in discarding further. Yeah, as long as I can keep my deck 90% spades, this will stay pretty high because I'll only be discarding one card per go. So yeah, we're now making like six Gs per hand. So we're starting to get into trouble. It may seem like we're doing very well right now, but truthfully, like we really need to pump this stuff up. Um, plus four multiplier when an even card is played. Adds the sell value of all own jokers left of this card. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, eh. Not very enticing. Planet cards or tarot cards. Try tarot. Sometimes they have like double your money which is crazy. 
Um, so I don't really care about cards. Ranks, I don't want... So stone cards don't work with flush because you need to use all five cards, right? Like, if I could use four cards, if I was doing two pair, this would be good. Uh, I'm gonna just get 12 bucks. So I paid four, I'm getting 12. It's like just getting $8 net, and it boosts this a bit. Um, permanently gain plus one hand per round. That's not bad. Eh, we'll skip it. I want the money. Choose two of five playing cards to add to your deck. That's not too bad. So the and the cards come in like with magic powers, like uh, they do stuff. We won't do it this round. I think I'm gonna play another round with you guys though, so you can see all the craziness. We'll we'll go for something other than flush next time. Although the truth is, like you can't really decide what you're gonna do. Like it just oh I forgot to discard one. Hopefully we don't win. No, we're way away from winning. No, not way away. But yeah, you can't really decide what you're going to do, honestly. Like, it's sort of like the cards will just reveal to you what you're supposed to do. Um, I think this is fine. Again, I'm incentivized not to play games and discard too much. So hopefully that's 4,000. Yeah, it's 8,000. So we're getting... I can get about 8,000 per, uh, per go. What I need to do is pump up. Flush being level three is a little pathetic at this point since we're a flush deck. That needs to be higher. I need some better jokers. And this guy, the more money I get, the more valuable he becomes. So just actually hoarding cash is getting good for us. Um, two planet cards might be good. Retriggering is okay. I don't really care about adding cards. This is kind of a waste of money. I think I'll do the two planet cards. And hopefully we'll just get a flush. We did not. It's going to sell this one because we're never going to use it. And I'm going to sell that too because we're not a four of a kind deck. So we just got our money back basically. Um, here, I'll open up one random pack so you guys can kind of see what it is. We'll hopefully get a spade. Yeah, so here's, uh, this card re-triggers, so basically it occurs twice, so you actually get plus 20 chips, and if you add any other abilities to it, they double. Um, this is good if it's in, if this card is in your hand. It's a spade, we can use it. Um, and this is a stone card, it has no rank or suit, so if you play two pair, and you have an extra card, throw in the stone card, and it's worth an extra 50 chips. Um, again, doesn't work for us because we're flushes and we need five cards, but... Uh, now that we have 50 bucks, by the way, we're going to earn uh, 10 extra dollars on every hand because of interest. So it's like all face cards are drawn face down. So it's really good for us. Um, all right. So first of all, let's get rid of that guy. One, two, three, four. So we can gamble that one of these is a spade. Let's try it. Yeah, it was. I mean, the odds are good. Ten thousand. Oh my god. Two, three, four. I mean, why don't we just try it? Let's just see. No, it wasn't. So we just got, what, two pair? You can see how, how pathetic two pair is. Actually, it's... Oh, well, five thousand. Oh my god, it made it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I played cards totally blind. I thought that was going to fail. So I guess my jokers are good enough that I don't necessarily have to be a flush deck, although it is what we've pumped up. But like in theory, we could change. Um, I kind of feel like some of these jokers, like this one's good, this one's good. This one is a utility one. It's not helping us win, but it's helping us hone our deck and make money. This one's okay, and this one is not that great. Truthfully. Um, this is a fun joker. It's basically a credit card. lets you go into debt, uh, which is funny. But then you stop earning interest, so it's better to be rich like me. Um, all right, let's 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 dig, f hopefully, and try and get some uh, flush things going on here. Jupiter, baby. I just recognize it as the flush one. 
So every as as if we can pump up the base of a flush, it's good because the multipliers will add on to that. Jupiter, oh, we got lucky there. So flushes now. Let's see. Level five flushes. It's twelve times multiplier, 150. Like it's it's more valuable to do a flush than a straight flush. Just so funny. Um, plus one card slot available in shop. I don't know if that's worth the cash at the moment. Choose two planet cards to be used immediately. Nah. The thing is, we only want one. We only want Jupiter, and I might as well just buy it at the next shop if I see it. Two. Oh, we should discard one, make our money. One, two, three, four, five... This one might win now, because we've pumped up flushes a bit more. I'm not 100% sure on the math. Yeah, there we go. The bull got us over the edge. It's nice to be rich in life. Interest, baby, that's where it's at. Earn that- earn those G's. Okay, if a poker hand is a straight flush, create a spectral card. Game 0.5 multiplier for each jack discarded this round. I wish we had jacks. Um, I will buy this. Just so we get a little bit more options in the stores. I don't know if it'll help us all that much. Yeah, it's not really, really valuable. Uh, I'll keep trying to dig for the, uh, Jupiters. Yeah, nothing. Four of a kind, straight flush. I mean, you might as well just... I think I've leveled pair up. I might as well level pair. There's there's no value in skipping. I wish you don't get the money or anything, so you might as well use the card. When the cards are in your inventory, you can uh, sell them, but you can't just sell them for fun. 0.5. Yeah, again, multipliers are really good, but we just don't. It's not like we have tons of jacks to discard, you know. Adds one voucher to the next shop. Eh. Not too exciting. Now let's do our one discard. One, two, three, four, five. 156 chips. So see, I'm incentivized to make more money now because this bull is crazy good. But 18,000 per hand is respectable. This poor card. Ooh, we can keep this in our hand and get another three bucks. Five, six, there it is. So, like, I know I can make a flush with this. I have so many spades. 10, 20, 30. I love num watching the numbers click up. It's like just dopamine hits to my brain. It's so satisfying. 18,000. Plus three bucks. That bull's getting more powerful. See, it's like having a plus 162 multiplier. So, like, this guy, plus 11, he's honestly one of the weakest jokers we've got, if you can believe it. Having a plus 11 multiplier. He might as well be, like, plus 11 chips, you know? Um... Like, this guy's better, although he might not be with us forever. It's a random joker. Eh. One of five playing cards. Let's look for more planets, more Jupiters. Didn't get it. So we'll keep pumping up the one pair. I mean, who knows? Like in theory, if you get enough one pairs, it could become viable to switch. One pair is five times fifty-five. I mean, I have to get a ton of them. Um, I'm gonna hold on to my money. Every dollar I have makes the bull more valuable. Minus one hand size, and that's fine. Okay, we'll discard this. Queen, nine, da, da, da. I love looking at my dead. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of running out of non-spade cards, which means eventually this card, I can actually sell it because it won't be useful to me. It's so funny. I've just burned up all my cards. Turned them into cold hard liquid cash. Um, 
Discard. Ugh, pains me. It's funny because these two cards really don't synergize. In fact, this one directly hurts this one, but I mean, even 1.6 is still a good multiplier. Oh, we just barely made that. Oh, I think the next hand is our final hand. So we got one more shop at the store, man. So these, again, are the preview of what's coming in the full version. I'm so curious. Like, the driver's license. It's funny. Um, okay. Full house, no. S oh, spade plus four. Okay, I'm gonna sell this guy. Time has come. Spade plus four is really good for us. Plus one discard doesn't matter. Okay, and because it's, I th I'm pretty sure the next uh, hand is the last boss. I'm just gonna dig to see if there's a better Joker out there for us. Uh, the sell value of all Jokers to the left. So that would be two, five, eight, nine, ten. No, it's worse. And then this one is even cards. Nah. We'll skip that. And then I don't need to add a card. I'll just hold on to this guy at plus 216. And by the way, you can you can re-roll stores. Like, I have so much money. Uh, if I didn't have the bull card, I probably would have played looser with my cash and re-rolled stores, digging for stuff. You know, because if we could have got the flush up to, like, level 8 or 9, then it's, it becomes insane. You're making, like, 100,000 and stuff with the multipliers, but... Um, I think we're in a good position. I really do feel... So this is an interesting boss. They force you to use one particular card. But you know what? For us, it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, this is the last round, so it doesn't matter how much money we get at the end, so I'll use the queen. But there you go. Eat that, buddy. Let's see what happens. The plus four multiplier. Oh, and then that's going to get multiplied. Oh my god, this is going to be huge, I think. 85 33,000 okay see that's what you want for the final boss you want to be in like that range um okay so there, there's two strategies by the way for what you can do here um i could discard these and i think that's what i'm gonna do but even when you run out of discards you technically still have some discards because every you can play a, a basically a dead hand and just this would be a, a pair hand. It would get me very little score, but it would get all of these cards out of my hand. So discards are like playing a hand that doesn't actually count. Whereas even if you run out of discards, don't despair. You know, if you can make 30,000 on a hand, don't blow a bunch of good cards, hold on to them, play one dead hand and hopefully draw into a bunch of spades. I mean, <laughs> look at our deck, it's it's 90% spades. Oh, I clicked play, I meant to click, oh, well, whatever. You guys can see the effect of this. I mean, I don't even know how much I'll earn with this, 7,000 on just basically a crap hand. I meant to hit discard, but it doesn't matter. Um, so boom, one final flush. Um, so let's see, this will probably be another like 30K is my guess. It's funny that this card just came to us at the very end. I think that was 38. Boom, we did it. We did it. If you guys want to play this run, by the way, the code is DTPXWHPP. You can put that in as your random seed and you can play this exact round. Play it the exact same way I did or play it a little different. Who knows? Um, let's do one more together, though, because I do love this game. And I'm going to hope that this isn't another flush game. But again, the game kind of steers you. You don't get to decide the jokers and stuff. Um, start the next round with three extra discards. Nah, I'd rather get the money from you. I'm gonna beat you. Even though, like, I feel like I'm beating this guy. You know, like he's a boss. I'm playing kind of against no one. It's like rock climbing. It's like the challenge is against yourself. But, um, alright, I'm gonna go hopefully try and get a flush. That is the dream. The dream happened. Again, even though I'm doing a flush on the first hand, my goal is not to do flushes for the whole thing. 
Oh shit, I don't even think we had enough 296. What a bummer. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It like doesn't even matter what I play. I think even a high card is sufficient. So there you go. So yeah, you want to, as I say, you want to try and do this first hand in one or two. If you if you don't get it in one or two, I would say just restart a new run almost. I mean, it's not going to make a huge difference, but it's one of those things. You're so close to the start. If you screwed up that much, or you just didn't get any good cards, like why keep going? Just switch it. Um, all right. See, now this would incentivize us to go flushes again and go for hearts. But again, I would rather not do that to you guys. This is nice. Permanently gain plus one hand. I'm literally going to hold off. If I knew I could go straights, I'd get this. But I find straights to be so fickle. Like, they truly are harder to get than flushes, I find. At least when you can discard the way you can. So well, maybe this would be really good. Should we try it? You know what? We could sell it for two. It's not going to eat into our interest. Let's just give it a shot. You never know. Uh, shop has a foil joker. Foil plus 30 chips. That is a good joker. It's a really good joker, actually. But... We will soldier on. Could almost make a full house. We have a kind. Also. See, like, this, this hand sucks for making a uh, flush. Or a straight. Uh, I'm just gonna... Just do this, just to throw some cards on the table. I could discard, but... I don't know. Just not feeling it. Ugh, like this. How are you supposed to make straights in life? Like, do you chase the low straight or the high straight? Like, the high straight is worth more. I need queen and jack. I mean, let's chase a queen and a jack, I guess. It's just, like, it's just not going to play ball. All right, well, we got a full house. That might win it. Not 100% sure. It's a very high scoring full health house. I can say full health. That made it. All right, so I'm not sure about this Joker yet. By the way, you don't have to go flush with these fools. If you find the card that doubles your money, you can get insanely wealthy very early, which is very helpful. Uh, it gives you a lot of freedom in doing whatever you want. Four of a kind. I don't know how to make four of a kind work, honestly. Choose up to two of four jokers. That... That could gain... That, that'll dictate the direction we go. What kind of jokers are we going to get? Oh, another friggin' flush deck. <laughs> Diamonds and flushes. Uh, this one's interesting. Plus 50 if you have a pair. Okay. I told you I want to try and do it differently. I don't know if we're going to... Like, I'm trying... I'm, I feel like the game is trying to push me towards flushes. And uh, I'm trying to, you know, mix it up for you guys. But, like, truthfully, like, if it's pushing you to flushes... Might as well get that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I still don't 100% know. I haven't committed. So we can always sell these jokers, but... At least we have lots of ability to score. To Yeah, to score. It's like, yeah, one pair. We'll get plus 80. So that'll be 100 times 2. So it's still not a ton, actually. It's still kind of crappy. Oh, wait, that's if it has a flush. It's only plus 50 if it's a pair. If the hand contains a pair. So you can do two pair. I mean, two pair is viable. In fact, that's the highest scoring deck I've ever had is a two pair deck. So like you could do this it becomes 20 70 150 I mean this is worth about 300 to do this I'll do it why not we have jokers for three different directions it's kind of stupid what we're doing 220 actually that, that kind of sucked um I could do another two pair, I guess. I don't know. I 
kind of feel like I should do a restart here. I'll, I'll hold off to see what this store gives me, but I'm doing really bad on this boss fight. In fact, I don't even know if I'll win it. It's not guaranteed. Um, I guess I will. I'm just doing it all with two pairs. I mean, I could do... Oh, I have a flush. I'll do that. Flush. I, you know what? Honestly, I do find in this game, one thing about it, is it's like flushes seem to be the easiest route to go, believe it or not. It's just interesting because in real poker, flushes are not easy. But it's like this game, oh, again, I think it's the jokers, but the jokers that are in right now make flushes such an easy, easy path to take to victory. And you guys saw it work for me last time. Oh my god, it, it really does want me to play another flush deck. Uh, okay, let's just buy these tarot cards. And if I don't see something that's pushing me not towards a flush, then we'll restart. Um, lucky... Doubles your money. We have virtually no money, but that... It's kind of interesting. So once you double your money... I mean, I wish I had more money. In fact, I should hold off, because I could double it and double again. Okay. Let's just do another round or two, because we can be wealthy very quickly here, and that could be something. But the game wants us to be a flush deck so badly. It's just hilarious. But it's not too... I mean, we've, we've burned these. The, so the Fool can really, as you saw, we turn like 90% of our deck into spades so easily. Just need a queen, a king, or an eight. Let's dig a little. There we go. We got a straight. Again, I find straights are harder to make than flushes in this game. I think because of the nature of the dis discard. Oh, but that straight would have... Well, that was 800 on the dot. That would have won us in one hand. So every hand you play basically costs you a dollar because you get an extra dollar for every hand you don't play, so. Yeah, all right. So now we have some cash. We got a multiplier. We can discard more. We'll do that. Use this. And now, so this will only double it up to 20. So this is just gonna give us plus 20. We'll use that. Okay, I do like this guy. I don't know about having plus one discard. It doesn't make sense with him, so... Don't bother. Permanently gain plus one per... Plus one hand per round. I don't know if we need that. Um, let's see... Let's just... I, I feel like I'm forcing it, but let's see if we can try and make a straight or a pair deck work. Alright, you know what? I don't normally go for straight decks. If you get that Joker where you can have gaps, then they become way more viable, but I guess we're just gonna try and make straights a thing. I feel like it's gonna burn badly. Copy the next selected tag. Um, this is actually kind of cool. It's hard to explain, but the next tag where it's like, do this or do that, like from tarot cards, gets doubled. Uh, maybe we should do that. We have a lot of money. First hand is drawn face down. Nah, I kind of want to, like, dig through shops, so I don't want to, you know. Um, three, four... I'm trying to make straights a thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I guess the more we dig, the more we harm this thing. See, like, this is how much digging you have to do for a straight, and it didn't even work. Right? Like, it's... I mean, I said I'm a straight deck. I'll try and, like, win on a straight, but... Like, 28, that's pathetic. Pathetic. It's, like, very concerning. Like, I think we're actually just gonna straight up lose here. I could have tried to play two pair or something, but... I guess maybe I should have. Okay, we made our straight. Question is, is this too little too late? I don't quite know what our multipliers will work out to. Oh! 
See, that straight would have won it by itself. So it's the digging that's a problem for us. We need that Joker that gives you a gap. That is just what you need if you want to be a straight deck. We lost so much money on interest doing that. Like, it was just nonsense. Each face card has a one in two chance of giving you a dollar. Playing odd deck gives you plus 20 chips. See what a spectral card is going to give us. There's all cards to a single random rank. Oh, that would make... Uh, I've never seen that. That would make like four of a kind crazy good. Interesting. There's five random cards and gives you $20. That one's interesting too. You know what? I've never tried this. Do it. Let's just see. Oh my god, they're all aces? Holy shit, that's crazy. That is actually crazy good. Um, oh, and this gives me... Oh my god, this gives my aces superpower. Okay. Maybe we're not a straight deck. Maybe we're a four-of-a-kind deck. Let's see if we can get more aces, baby. Oh, there's one. So this gives me a plus 10 multiplier, and it re-triggers. Jeez. And this just gives me nothing while we're going with this one. Okay, somehow we're an ace deck. Interesting. So pairs, three of a kind, and four of a kinds are what we want. So we can sell this, actually. Each face card held in hand has a one in two chance of giving me a dollar. So I get 50 cents per face card in my hand that I don't play. Uh, I don't know. And it's only four because I can sell one of these. So I feel like straights we're not going to go for. If we had that extra joker, they would make sense. Um, Since I'm playing a lot of aces... 50 cents. So I need... Uh, this happened eight times to nah. I feel like it would uh, it would just take too long to pay off and yeah. First hand is drawn face down. All right, well, let's just roll the odds and hope we have three or four aces in there. <laughs> we did. So now we know these two are lower than aces because it was nine five. So we can just ignore those. So 900 for three aces. Five. I kind of don't want to discard because of that thing. Maybe I'll just do this. Oh shoot, I meant to play it. Wow. That's a mind, mind fart right there. Eight, nine, ten. Do we even have a... No, we don't. Okay, I'm gonna play this hand to get it out of my hand. Hopefully make some money off these guys. Damn, I did not mean to discard. That hurt that guy for no reason. Um, let's do... Just throw this away. I know I'm not getting very many points for these at all. I'm just trying to dig without digging. I'm going to try and leave face cards in my hand to make me money. Think this is enough? Hopefully it's enough. Yeah, it's enough. If we lost the game there. That would have been sad. 1600... Okay, we're making max interest. Holographic and polygonal. It's a random joker. Tarot cards. Let's try the tarot cards first. He has a total sell value of all jokers. We can get our money back if we want. Hearts. Two random tarot cards. Enhances two selected multi cards. Hmm. 
This is tempting because it's two more tarot cards or money. Don't care about increasing rank, really. Multi cards. Yes. I want stuff that's consistent, not like unpredictable. Okay, we have a lot of money, so. What, what was in the box? Let's, let's destroy two cards. Uh, and hands. Okay. That, that's fine. Um. And I'll, I will check out these Spectral cards. Choose five cards and get $20. Creates a random rare Joker. Set money to zero. Oh, these are awful. Well, a one in eight that I destroy an ace, which I hope doesn't happen. Ah, oh, the ace! <laughs> My beautiful ace. Well, I got 20 bucks. Was it worth it? Don't know if it was. Don't know if it was. Could re-roll these. I'll re-roll once. High card. And contains an ace and a straight. Ah, oh, if we had the straight, this would be crazy good. Anything you can get that would let, will, like, generate things is very good. Alright, we want to destroy two non-aces. Like, uh, these guys can go... Boom. And... Let's make the queen gold. Because I kind of want to keep it in my hand. Um... I'll discard. Draw back up. Okay. This might be very valuable. This should still trigger the Sly Joker. Full houses, two pair. Should always. So we're like a full house kind of like pair deck. 1700. That's not too bad. Um. I want those jokers, man. This poor card's gonna get worn down very fast. Okay, here we go. Oh, this guy will count twice. Uh, plus 10 multiplier, re-trigger it. Plus, so it's like plus 20. I kind of want to hold on to this. Maybe I'm being greedy. And I want all these... I just want money, man. Let's see. I might have gotten too greedy. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, it was enough. In fact, it was enough to win the hand by itself. 8,000! Oh, man, I vastly miscalculated. That was definitely <laughs> enough to win the hand. I wish that was 10. So you need a voucher to be able to earn up to 10 interest. We're maxing out at 5 right now. Okay. This is a good tarot card to have. We're gonna have it and hold it. Retrigger. Oh, if this had ace on it, this would be perfect, but it doesn't. Spy a tarot card. Okay. Times two multiplier. So it turns a uh, card into a glass card. Clubs. Gold. Create two tarot cards. Destroy two cards. I could destroy to make it easier to get face cards. Or I could create two cards. This, this one's always so tempting because it's like, oh, maybe it'll be good. I'll just destroy those two. I want to try and destroy all the low cards to make it easier to make sets. And then I can use that fool to do it again. Gives $5 per skip blind. So if you've been skipping lots of fights, this one actually can become very valuable. You can get like 35 bucks from skipping it. We haven't skipped anything, so it's not worth it for us. Um, okay. I definitely want to discard some of these. I guess we'll do the like destroy thing. So I don't even know if I want to destroy. I was going to destroy the 8 and the 4, but the 8's not terrible. 
But I already don't have any eights. Okay, yeah, so you can destroy the eight and the four. Bye-bye. And I'll discard this one and draw three. And I'll make a full house. I would love to get a voucher that makes my hand size bigger because it did hurt my hand size to turn everything into aces. Oh, geez, I didn't, that wasn't even worth that much. Yeah, I think, I don't think I can hold on to the queen. The extra three gold is a bye-bye. Oh shit, I'm not even making very much. I think I'm pooched. I think this one's got me. I need a four of a kind. You know what, you know what the issue is? I didn't get any planets to pump up like full house and three of a kind and stuff so it's like uh you know i'm gonna try and do a four of a kind i think that will save me plus a lot of these jokers are dead they're not doing anything all right either this one saves me or i might be screwed it might be the end of the run we shall see yeah oh I need 700 and I have no more discards. Oh, this is it. This is it, folks. Two, three, four. I can't even make a... This is the best hand I can make. I don't think it's enough at all. Here it is. Nope. 45. We just lost. Boo! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try one more time. Um, so that was... Uh, you know, like... Again, I feel like that game was pushing us to go flush, and we fought against it, and that's what happens. So again, if the Jokers are telling you flush, you gotta go flush. Um, and the game, I think, steers towards flush being sometimes the easy way to go. But let's try one more time and just see what happens here. All right. See what the fates decide. Shop has a holographic Joker. Plus 10 multiplier. I mean, that's good, but if it was a like a multiplier multiplier, then maybe The other thing is I don't have a very <laughs> lot of money. Oh, you know what? We skip it Chop has an uncommon joker. You know what? We just started a new game I'm gonna skip both of those. Maybe there'll be an uncommon Holographic joker if we can survive this boss if we fail we fail we start a new game who cares? Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a good start. Straight off the bat, we got a straight. Mind the puns. I'm a punny guy. I'll uh, I'll see myself out. Um, we got a straight, a flush. See, the thing is, we're making like good hands, straights, flushes, you know, like, but we have no multipliers or anything. And so it's taking us three hands to beat this boss. But I can't complain too much because those are actually two really nice hands to have from the start. I'm trying to make something with aces and queens. Ugh. If I get a queen, I'll have another straight. And okay, I think we got a full house here. Wow, a straight, a flush, and a full house. A full house. I was about to say full health. Um, very interesting starting. I hope this Joker is amazing. And then we can run with it. But it's very possible we need a restart right now. Because we missed out on a lot of cash. We basically threw away like 10 bucks to do this. And we have... Straights and flushes can be made with four cards and a times 10 multiplier. Ooh, and a plus one hand size. Ugh, I really want to do a two pair deck, but I think it's not in the cards. Oh, and it's 13. Well, YOLO. Let's just F and do this. We're straight deck. <laughs> I don't know if that was good or bad. Two planet cards that can be used immediately. Uh... Yes. Come on, straights. What straights, baby? Straights are not in here. God damn it. Are we a flush deck again? 
We could go with straight flush. Actually, that's that's intriguing. Let's try and do let's try and be a straight flush deck. There's one other joker we need, and then we're OP as a straight flush deck. I guess I will also take the flush then. But we'll try and go straight flush. I have no idea if this is gonna work. This seems like disaster written all over it. We're we're already on two of five antis and we've barely played any hands. It's actually not a good sign at all. Um, we can make a straight though. Oh yeah, we only need four cards. Wait, so that means we can make a flush. Ooh, if we get the nine of spades, we are in business. Let's just do a discard here. Um, let's do one more discard. Ah. So close. I'm gonna chase that high, baby. Get rid of the seven, too. We need the nine of spades, the king of spades. Well, that's it. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Go F yourself, you stinking game. Dirt bags. Well, we're gonna be hard. Oh, we. That just straight up is worth uh, the right amount. Wow. I was gonna say, we'll be hard pressed to actually win this, but I guess we did okay. Somehow. Miraculously, I don't know. We'll see. I feel like we're a little behind, but this Joker's intriguing me. Um, I mean, this is nice, but I feel like we're not gonna have enough money to make it happen. Okay. I would love this Joker, but I think we gotta go for no no we need um the thing is this is uh these are already worth so much no but we're gonna be digging a lot this thing will be useless soon I could just save for the plus one hand size I think that's what I'll do I want that plus one hand size man that'll make a big difference Oh, we have four kings. I don't even know if they're actually worth all that much. Four of a kind? Uh, it's worse, worth less than a straight flush for me. But, I mean, a straight flush. He thought straights were hard to make. Might as well just make a... Make a four of a kind while we can. It's fun. It, it almost won us the game. Uh, I think just a straight is sufficient at this point. Oh my god, I just lost. This boss, you can only play one hand type. I just played four of a kind, meaning I now have to play four of a kind. <laughs> oh, I'm fucked. I am royal. I gotta get four aces. It's the only way this works. Four aces, baby. Nope, that's not gonna cut it. I'm gonna do this. So this would be two pair. I'm gonna play it to throw the cards away. Because I need that last ace. It's all worth nothing. If I don't if I don't get I got one more hand to get oh my god, I can't believe I wasn't paying attention. You know what? I'm not too sad. And yeah, this was a very good hand. No, we just lost. That is crazy. The last ace. Sitting at the bottom of the deck, probably. Okay, well, at least this, at least this was a, a painful... A quick and painful death. You heard me right. That sucked. Alright, <laughs> once more into the breach. This will be our last run. You can see how addicting this game is, though. Oh, this is such a nice one to get later when you have, like, 30 or 40. You, like, double your money and become instantly rich. Holographic. If the holographic Joker had times 1.5 or times 2, that would have been crazy. Uh, mace, 10, queen. Oh, we need a jack. Yeah. There's some jacks in the deck. Let's go hunting. Eh, yeah, 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 there's a jack in there somewhere. Or whatever, two pair. Two. This is not enough to win, I don't think. Now we got one more discard. Let's live. Let's live a little. Oh, if we get one more spade, we've made a, uh... Oh, shoot! 
Didn't mean to play that, meant to discard it. Oh, there's our... our straight. So if I had discarded, I would have, uh... won this in one go. Instead, I lost a dollar being dumb. I love when it goes on fire. It really, like... again, hits those dopamine cells. One dollar lost. Alright, because the total cell value of the Joker is it's useless to us. Uh, one lucky card. Useless, useless, useless. Alright, well, whatever. Let's do it. I think uncommon j Jokers are better than holographic, honestly. You know, I could make two pair, but... I don't like... Those cards are too cheap for me. I don't play twos and fours and threes and stuff. I'm what they call in Vegas a high roller, baby. Hold on to this and try and make a flush. Nah. I feel like this hand also did not start off well, so I might throw this one away too. Although a full health... Full health. A full house. Helps me change my mind. I'm not throwing away the idea that this might be another false start. Oh, you know, I didn't know you could do this. You can drag cards around. That's interesting. Has no, like, impact on... Oh, wait, maybe it does. Ordering the cards may matter. Oh my god, there's a multiplier like the first face card you play. So putting the face card at the end. Oh my god. That Joker just got way better in my mind. Didn't know you could do that. Just figured it out with a missed a misclick. High card. Odd cards. Tarot cards. So the tarot cards will determine what kind of deck we're going to be. They will show us the way, I think. A stone card. Spade. Steel. I wonder if we're a stone card deck. I haven't tried this. I mean, stone cards work well with two pair. Could throw a bunch of them in the deck. Let's just see what this other tarot card set has to offer. Create two random. Yeah. Let's be a stone card deck. Never tried this. I mean, I've, I've definitely had stone cards in my deck. Usually I put them in later when I realize I'm a pair deck of some kind. Okay, and then what would synergize here? Eh, give me two random tarot cards. Glass card, which I'm not a fan of. I don't like anything that has a chance of ruining your deck. Um, odd cards, why not? Right, we blew all of our cash. All club cards are debuffed. Alright. Duly noted. So I should just throw away the clubs because they don't get me anything. I kind of want... Oh, there's a full house. I was going to say, I kind of want to dig for some of those stone cards I threw in, but I guess I, I only have so many discards, and there's only a few of them in the deck, so I shouldn't get too crazy here. Well, that was okay. I could do four of a kind. Even though this one king is worth nothing, I think it's still valuable enough. That it's fine. Yeah, there's enough. Okay, so we are a TBD deck. I don't think we're straight, because we've destroyed some of our low cards, so we're limiting our straights. It's like two cards convert the left to the right. That could be cool to create more stone cards. Hands is a selected card into the steel card. Eh. Tarot cards appear twice as frequently. Let's see what we got. Wild card, hearts. 
increase the rank of two cards. I guess we'll increase the rank of two cards. I don't know. Shit, man. I don't know. We're not really a flesh deck. I mean, I feel like tarot cards is so easy to become a, a flesh deck. I'm really trying not to. You, you, effort, you effortfully have to try. And, uh... Here, might as well use this. Oh, this guy got turned. Oh my god, a 1.5 multiplier. And baby, we're in business. Hey, okay, wait, we want odd cards. So hold on, actually, we can do this. We want these sixes to be sevens. We want as many odd cards as possible. Okay, hold on. I, I see the way. I see the way now. The way has revealed itself. We're going to take this. We're going to start trying to duplicate cards in our deck in crazy ways. Upgrade the flush by three levels. Stop it, game! You son of a bitch, we're not gonna... Oh, this would be so good. That is such a good one to skip. That is actually crazy good. We're trying not to be a flush deck. You guys have seen it. I'm actively playing worse because I'm trying... I'm trying to be better for you guys. Okay. Nines. I think we might be a seven deck. Having a lot of sevens might end up being helpful. Select two cards. Convert the left into the right. Left into the right. Use. Okay, we have three sevens now. Enhance one card into a glass card. Ugh, I kind of want us to just sell that, honestly. Um, anyway, uh, we can just do this. So we'll throw away. Like, even jacks and stuff are not valuable to me anymore. I'm just gonna throw them away. Three of a kind. Boom. Okay, it's, it's not super exciting yet, but if we get a few more multipliers, I think it will end up being very good for us. Throw that one away too. I think I could imagine a two card, a two pair deck working with this. I don't know. Oh my God, I can't believe we're so close. Oh, the stone cards, I forgot about them. Literally forgot they were a thing. I got three sevens left. We just need something. Oh, we don't have any threes. Okay, threes I kind of turned into stones by accident. Uh, shit. Wait, how many, how many of all of these do we have? We just need to make a pair. Okay, the two's gonna go. And then we only have one other eight, so the eight goes. We only have one other queen, so the queen goes, but we'll keep the ace. Come on, one pair. Okay, that's sufficient. But oh, check this out. This is gonna be a crazy hand. The stones are gonna like make this really valuable. It'll probably be like... Actually, it's not as crazy as it looks. 500. A little underwhelming. Whatever. It was fine. <sighs> We're so poor, man. High card. Plus four. Yeah, let's blow our wad. This is this is a poor game. Before we were rich, now we're poor. Okay, I could get seven. Gets me back. One lucky card. Yeah, these suck. I don't know, give me my money back. And I'll try this one instead. I think I made money on that, interestingly enough. It's a random joker. That might be useful to us. Yeah. Give me joker, baby. What's this one say? When blind is selected, add one dollar to the sell of every joker and consumable card. Oh, that'll slowly make us a tiny bit of money. It's not great, though. This guy is good. We just gotta, like, get the deck to be better. Oh my god, it's like a straight-up flush. Three, four, five. We might... Flushes are still the way to go. You just can't deny it. Yeah, 
<sighs> we need better jokers though. That's that's what's holding us back right now is our jokers suck. Um How many kings and aces do I have? That's about the same. Whatever. This card. Show me something. This card. Show me something. Jesus, I'm getting all the goddamn eights and stuff. So close to a f another flush. I hate to do it, but I think the holding out for the flush is the way. And the odds aren't great. Uh, I'm probably going to get hearts. Show me something. Ah, the way has been revealed. Now, interestingly, this will give me four times 40, but it's almost better to do these two, I think. It's better to throw those stone cards in than to do a full house. Keep wanting to say full health. What is wrong with me tonight? Full house. If we just had one or two more jokers to pump up the multiplier before it got multiplied, then we would really be cooking with gas. So I'm curious when the full version of this game comes out, how far it will go, because right now it caps out at uh, five, but... Um, <laughs> that's funny, when we play an even rank, we can get plus four, multi oh, plus four multiplier. That's almost what we need right now. Celestials. That. This card would not be good for us because we're so poor, unfortunately. Maybe one day. This is worth a little bit more, right? Yeah. Cards drawn face down after playing. Well, that screws us. Wow, that's worth nine. That's worth three. If we get one where it's like add the sell value of your jokers, that's very good. Um. What do I want to do here? A lot of tens and stuff of a normal amount. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that goes two pair. See, I haven't been buying the planet cards because we're not committed to a particular hand type yet, and I feel like it, uh,. I don't know what I want to pump up just yet. Oh, this, this sucks. I think we might die here. I think we may die here. Throw this away too. I wish I had a stone card. That would have been nice. Oh, this one though. 98 times 15, yeah. The malt, so this, Oh, yeah, we, we need the multiplier. Okay. I'm almost a straight deck, as it turns out. Interestingly enough, the way the Jokers have fallen. Plus one hand size. Doubles the lowest rank. Diamond. All right, we got to do a buffoon pack or two here. I need Jokers, man. Do I want the misprint or the banana? I want the misprint. Because this thing's going to help me sell my jokers later. I want this one too. It says, create a tarot card if you do a straight. Okay, now this one I think is going to be better for us. This is one. I'll just keep this until I need to sell it and I'll make a bunch of money. I think we'll try and buy this. We have like another couple of rounds to do it. This is free reroll in the next shop. No, we need, we need cash, man. We gotta win. Okay, so we do want to play face cards to get a crazy multiplier, but this might be fine to start. So we're not a one hand win deck right now, which means we're not doing very well. I wonder if I change the order of this, if that'll matter. Okay. Okay, so this... I think is fine. I want to see if the order of this stuff matters. 
that multiplied. Aha, the order matters a lot for the Jokers. I didn't play with the order last time at all, but it definitely makes a huge difference. So you want to have your multiplicative Jokers at the very end. Alright, maybe, maybe we're in it. Ooh, playing... If we add cards to our deck, we get a multiplier. That's what we want, baby. It's two random tarot cards. Okay, we're, this is good. This is good. We'll just start adding cards to our deck, get multipliers, we'll all be fine. Okay, let's buy and use, just see what we get. So this is, oh, it can make a Joker holographic. Interesting. Oh, stone cards. Okay, we want stone cards. All right, so I'm gonna sell this. Well, wow, these all got very valuable. Do I want to sell this one? No, I need I need something that consistently just gives me some multiplier. I'll sell you. Okay, gains. Okay, we gotta start adding cards to our deck. That's a given. I still don't know what kind of celestial we want. Should I use this or sell it? If I use it, then I can increase my hand size. It will probably do nothing. Okay, I'll sell it. I'll be a chicken. Get a bigger hand size, that's important. Um, a glass card. Oh, we don't care about that. Okay, we'll sell that. And then Spectral can be good. But I'm incentivized to save so I can add cards to my deck. So I'm actually gonna wait. Spectral can be good, sometimes it's a bit of a crapshoot. Okay, so we want that. Oh wait, we want the sevens and this. Oh, but the face card. I don't know what's going to be worth more. This will be... Let's, let's figure this out. This will add 1.5 and 2. So this will just give me a straight up like uh, uh, 9 times multiplier, which isn't crazy. Whereas this will give me just a 4.5 times multiplier, but they'll be worth 3 times more? I think it's about the same, oddly enough. Try the queens. I do have a lot of sevens, so in theory I could get, uh... Um, I could get whatchamacallit. Oh, plus two, that's awful. Could get four of a kind. That's what I was thinking might happen. Although, again, that's 60 times five. This is 40 times four. I think this... I think I want to have a mix. Oddly enough, I think I'm a full house deck because I want both the pluses on the chips and the multiplier. It helps me to have both. If I put it all in one, it's like it ends up being worth less. Yeah, like that 45, that was crazy. Interesting. Oh, and I didn't even turn anything into stone, which I could. Okay, crap, crap. I want to add stuff to my deck. Celestials. I. The thing is, it's like I'm so dynamic. I could go full. I could go full house, three of a kind, two pair. This doesn't help me too much. I'm gonna keep saving my money. Adds the rank, double the rank of the lowest card in hand. Oops. The lowest card is sometimes. Two, three, or four. It's not a bad Joker. But these are all pretty important. I mean, this one is a bit random, but... Anyway. Play only one here. Okay, this time we have to pay attention to the kind of hand we play. Like, I'm thinking two pair might be doable. It's like, oh, I go straight. I'm going to play the straight. It's like you just totally bone yourself into it. 
You bone yourself into a corner, you gotta bone yourself out. I'm gonna discard these. I wanna like have a pair or two set up before I commit to the type of hand I'm playing. Yeah, I think I can pull off two pair consistently. So I'll do it and wait, I can do this. The sevens will add... Oh, shit. If that was even, that would be crazy good. Okay, whatever. I'm going to play that. And the order of the cards can make such a big difference. This, this Joker here has the potential to be like a behemoth. We have a flush, but we can't play it. Four. I have a bunch of sevens, right? Yeah, I still have three sevens. Even though I kind of want even pairs, but like, I'd just be drawing into randomness. Eight or ten might be worth keeping. Oh, wait, keeping. Okay, what do I have less of? Ja I have a few queens, but I have a pair of queens. I shouldn't throw that away. Ah, yikes. This is... It is tricky. I'll do one weak discard and hopefully get something. All right, whatever. I'm just going to do this. Because I got to play two pair. And I need the points. Oof, I don't feel good about this at all. I got two hands left to, like, make something happen. I got one discard. I think queens are now bogus for me. Yeah, I'll throw the queen away. All right, last discard. Go, give me a pair. Yes, eights and sevens. I think this is going to be a huge one. I wish it was... What I want is even pairs with face pairs so I can do, like, some crazy multiplicative stuff. This is actually not going to be worth all that much. Oh, it was enough. Hmm. Really what my deck wants is like a huge hand size just so I have flexibility. It's a very weird deck. This, by the way, this is the one that uh, is a two-pair deck. The Trousers. It's a bonus every time you play two-pair. I mean, I could focus on that. I'm kind of set up that in theory it could work. Let's have some fun, boys. Let's go to the party in my pants. The pants party. Jesus. And we still, by the way, have not added any... Like, literally no cards have been added to our deck. It's such a bummer. These suck for us, I guess. Four of a kind. Never gonna happen, but whatever. A waste. Keep saving my money. Upgrade three of a kind, three levels. <laughs> if it was two pair, I would do it. We are literally set up to be a monster two pair deck if it ever happens for us. I kind of want to do this instead, honestly. Maybe just throw away the nines. Oddly enough, the odd cards I'm not, I'm less interested in. Just see what this gets us. Mm, nothing exciting. That was, wasn't really worth it. Okay, let's go two pair. We gotta start building our pants up. Sounds funny to say it. Upgrade! You've been upgraded. Thing is, as the pants party upgrades, it's exponential with our multiplicative card there. Here's another pants party. Oh, and this one. All right. Oh, no. It's still not going to be all that exciting. Whatever. Another two pair. Like this one, as you can see, it snowballs really quickly. I once had this and another Joker that was copying its ability, and it had like a two times multiplier on it. Like it was a crazy good Joker. Yeah, we're about to lose. Uh, we basically, we need an even pair. Um... 
and face cards. Need an even pair and a face pair. So there's our... Like I'm throwing pairs away desperately trying to pair up a 6 or a 10. Because I think that's our only out. Okay. We got the 10. This is... And now the only thing we could possibly do that would be better is if we get a stone card. So I'll use my last disco discard to try and get a stone card. Which didn't get... Oh, but I can turn cards into a stone card whenever I want. Alright, that worked out. Stone me, baby. Alright, we either live long enough to see yourself become the villain or die a hero. What's it gonna be? Did we do it? <laughs> oh, I put them in the wrong order! Oh, I could have had such a bigger multiplier. Oh, I lost because I didn't put them in the right order. Damn it. All right, well, this has been Balatro. Oh, I can't believe that. I kind of wanted to Alt F4 the game and go back in. Put your face cards last if you have that crazy joker, guys. It's a tip for me. Guys, this has been Balatro. It is a new indie game coming out in February. You can get the demo for free right now. Get it. Play it. It's addicting. It will steal your life away, but in the best possible way. It's a great idea for a game, um, and um, I hope you guys check it out. I, I certainly had fun with it here today. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's it for me, guys. Until next time, you'll take care of yourselves. And we'll see you soon. Peace! Alright, I just couldn't let Sleeping Dogs lie. This game's too addicting. I wanted to show you guys that the two pair could work. The next game I started after I failed, I got something going. So I've got this Joker card, this baseball card. 1.5 multiplier to every Joker that is uncommon. And I have a bunch of uncommon Jokers. These two don't really come into play very often. This one has its own multiplier of 1.75. Every time I add a card to my deck, it gets bigger. And this one just gives me more chips as long as I have some discards, which I uh, sometimes, <laughs> as long as you play early, is, is working. I'm in the final round. And also, oh my god, the next shop has a polychrome joker that... Oh, it's tempting. It's so bloody tempting. Maybe I'll do it. Um, I pumped up two pair to level nine. You can see <laughs> two pair is like the most valuable. So I'm a two pair deck. I can do three of a kind in a pinch. Other than that, I kind of wish I pumped pair up a bit, but you know, I, you play the cards you dealt literally. Question time. Do I go with this? Nah, it might cancel out. So no, I'm just gonna, all my jokers are multiplicative anyway. You guys will see this is pretty crazy. I've added a few cards to my deck. Some magic cards in here and stuff. But uh, for the most part... Um, whoops. Aces. Aces I have three of. Okay. Gonna try and make a second pair here. Boom, we got it. Gonna remember to put these cards first. Although I don't think it... Oh yeah, I, got, I did have the Joker where the face cards matter. But I actually just got rid of it. I'll throw this extra card in to dump it. I don't have any stone cards in my deck, but you'll see just how much I get from uh, the base here. Getting like 59 times, 86 times, 26,000 on a two pair. So yeah, the two pair deck could be pretty good. If I can pump this up, if I can add a few more cards, then this is gonna get nuts. Shit, and I didn't get it. Ooh, but I can pump up my, uh... This will pump up the two pair even further. I wonder if I should actually spend the money on a reroll here. Because uh, we, we're very limited in how many turns we have left. Try one reroll. And these are not going to help us. Okay, let's hope we get... We want Uranus. Uranus! <laughs> it's like level 10 12 times base multiplier 
uh plus 220 points yeah i mean this isn't even the craziest i'll go ahead and buy this because we're, we're nearing the end we're not going to need our money soon um oh my god i can do it again we're definitely going to do that having the base two pair be so high just by itself means we don't need jokers to add anything and all of our jokers are multiplicative so th this is you know what honestly you could play this uh you, it doesn't have to be a two-pair deck. You could almost play any way you want, but having so many multiplicatives really adds up. So we're going to go in here, see what we can make happen. We just need to get... Oh, we already have a two-pair. See here, a nine and a two. Let's just see. I feel like even that's going to be sufficient to just blow this out of the water because all of our numbers are so high. 29, 51, 76... 115 times 3, 43,000 on a 9 2 2 pair. That is flipping nuts. And again, this isn't even the highest. This, even, this isn't even working 100% well. This, this rare Joker here, though, and having all uncommons, it's the multiplicative. It's exponential. I'm telling you guys, it's the way to go. Uh, Mega Spectral. Ooh, standard. See. Adding cards to your deck is normally okay, but when you have this Joker, every time you add a card, it's another 0.25 to its multiplier. It goes up and up and up, and it just becomes bloody insane. We're gonna grab the queen. And then also having more duplicates in your deck, like more queens, more jacks, more kings, makes it easier to get that two pair. Uh, do we wanna reroll? We only really have like one more shop. Should we do one reroll? One reroll. How about no rerolls? First hand drawn is face down. That one's a bummer. Cause like I got no idea what we got. Four, five. I'm just gonna play it and see. Maybe there's a pair. It's just a high card. Yeah. So that's not gonna be worth very much. I mean it's a thousand. It's not nothing. Uh, but what we really need... Oh, this one This one is a steel card. It gives a multiplier if it stays in our hand. Um, although we're probably going to play it. Uh, okay, so what do we have? We have lots of kings, queens. We don't have many aces or, jo or jacks. So I'm going to hope for a king or a queen. Shit, and there's the ace. Uh, shoot, we gotta do this. We're getting down to it. Come on, baby. All right, we got this. Oh, I could keep this in my hand. I think that'll be better, actually. Okay, it should be enough just as is, I'm guessing. All the multiplicate. Multiplications are just going to go insane. 600 times. 150,000. Did you see that? 160,000. Um, what was it? A five and and jacks? I don't even remember. Fives and nines or something? I don't know. Doesn't matter. D does it matter at this point? Does it matter? Vert up to three cards. Oh my god, they're just throwing this at us. Buy and use. My two pair is at level 12. I mean, two pair climbs rather slowly, but when you're at like level 13. Uh, ooh, the mega pack, we can add two cards. Yep, I don't even care what they are, truly. They can be whatever. Uh, we'll do this one and this one. Oh, we'll do you and then, yeah, I think you want as many duplicates as possible. And obviously the face cards where we're at 2.5 times. So we'll do a re-roll. Re-roll again. And re-roll again. We can afford... Okay, let's just re-roll and see what we get. Okay, nothing. All right, might as well buy this. And we did not get another one. Um, might as well just take a one pair case we get in a pinch in this very last round which i feel like if we can get 150,000 on one card 
Not too worried about this. Watch me totally bomb this. It'll be uh, amazingly ironic. Oh yeah, we, it makes us use a particular card. Um, unfortunately then, I guess we're gonna have to discard that queen. We do have a lot of other queens, but I need to make two pair. Two, three, four, five. Just trying to see if it makes more sense to discard the ace, because truly the face value of the cards doesn't matter. We're just got to try and get a pair. Um, select two cards, convert the left card into the right card. Well, let's do this, and then we'll have our uh, pair. I think I threw away a bonus on one card. I should have reversed it. It doesn't matter. Truly, watch this, guys. Let's just casually get 267,000 or whatever the hell it's going to be. It's going to be something crazy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, only 67,000? Frankly, I'm ashamed. I'm truly ashamed you had to witness that pathetic ending. Oh, man. Yeah, the... Uh the multiplicative jokers is where it's at and truly I, I i think the two pair deck is my favorite there's many ways to pump it up this one i got very lucky early on and i pumped up the base multiplier but if you get the right jokers it can be crazy as well um and if you get this joker where every time you add a card to your deck um it gets more valuable in terms of the multiplier and you get a lot of opportunities to add cards to your deck not only can you add lots of face cards so it's very easy to start to get pairs but this thing can get crazy to like four or five times multiplier and then it's like your score goes insane so anyway there you go we ended on a high note go check out the game it is worth it 100 gaming j stamp of approval till next time guys peace